gonna do today is a little series of takedowns, kind of based off the arm drag. So the, the title of the class, as you know, is, is Drag Them Down. It comes from the arm drag. It also comes from dragging them down with your own weight and with gravity, and really using as much of that as you can to kind of establish the, the basis for how we're gonna get these folks to the ground, okay? So, um, John, wanna hop out here, brother? So the whole thing kind of stems off of when somebody gets a balance. That one-sided grip, that first grip that they get, right? And we've all kind of seen and we all kind of know that that simple pop that thing loose. And we're gonna we'll start there, right? So we get the pop loose to the drag. The thing, the problem with that is it's so much space. So we can try to attack an arm drag from this distance off that break, but now we have to close so much space in order to get in there. So we're gonna kind of break away from the grip break. Maybe, maybe they, you just can't break that grip, right? I try to do all my, all my pops and breaks and he's just not having it. He's got an iron grip. Or I do get the break and now I just have too much distance to close. So he's got his iron grip. Rather than trying to break it free, I may do that initially, but I'm gonna use that grip on the front, on the cross side to lock his grip in place. So now if he wants to let go of that grip, it's mine, it's not his anymore. Make sense? We're just reversing the grip on the person that's got the grip on him. So we're gonna make them pay for committing to that grip. So if you wanna just be really rude, it can be all wrist lock, right? Most guys aren't gonna just tap to that, they're gonna let go, they're gonna, they're gonna reposition, right? So if you can get that, the way that it works is I lock, I lock his wrist into my collar and into my chest, and I also close that distance, and as he tries to stiffen his arm out, I make sure that I lock behind his, and I'm pulling myself closer to him as his wrist gets forced. So you can work that wrist lock a little bit, but again, this is a takedown class. So based off of all of that, right, we're taking our grip, we're closing that distance. As we get to this point, what most guys are gonna let go as their wrist starts to get into that compromised position. So I'm gonna hug behind. I'm gonna use this to immediately just close the distance. And this is where the gravity comes in. Right now, I need to get this tailbone as heavy as possible. Hold me up. Right? <laughs> Tailbone's heavy. And again, I don't wanna throw him to the ground, I wanna drag him to the ground. So tailbone's heavy. We drag to the ground and we secure our top position. So we have an arm drag and then we drag him down, right? Cross grip, close that distance. Heavy, right? All gravity. <coughs> gravity to the tailbone. Gravity to the floor. And secure your top position. Yes, sir. Are you placing your your foot behind his ankle when you're doing that uh, that that sit down or great question. Can I borrow you? How about Alright, Joe, good to meet you. Alright, so great question there. Once we're behind, I'm using my foot, my foot is kind of blocking, but again it's not a trip and it's not a throw. It's a take them down, drag them down. So once we get here, I am going to stick my foot out. I may hit the back of the ankle as we go. But the most important thing, maybe not the most, you know both, is uh, hold me up. So it's this. Right? I want him to feel all my weight in his tailbone. And then I'm going to disappear. So heavy. So it's, to answer your question, yes, I'm kind of placing my foot behind the ankle, but then it's a drop, here we go. Last element of this, can I borrow you one more time? Is I don't want to try to throw him while I'm still behind him. Because a lot of times I'll end up like, right? And that's not a good thing. So I have that secure position, and I'm going to do a quarter turn as I fall. We 
You good on that one? Let's give it a try. We'll come back around. All right, so we'll just throw, throw a little different uh, arm drag in there this time. You can use any of these arm drags to get into your positions. I just want to give you some options, okay? So we've already done the grip break. We've already done that wrist lock. Now if somebody's got our sleep, this one's pretty simple. Right, he may have gotten some other stuff. I don't want to let him get on the other side of me, right? I want to keep this open kind of uh, position him. I don't want to square up on him. He's got a grip. Right? This one, I'm going to rotate to the outside. He still may have that grip. Now I'm going to double down on it. And I'm going to, again, going to drag my weight into it. So my weight starts to get heavy here. It's already getting hard to hold. And as I close that distance and turn, we get our second grip break and arm drag. So we're going to end up kind of in that same position as he backs out, tucks his elbow. We have our Russian tie. But uh, fuck that, we're gonna call it the Ukrainian tie now. <laughs> I, can't, I can't take credit for that, John came up with that on the ride over. <laughs> but uh, yeah, fuck that. Okay, so I got my Ukrainian tie, and I'm walking him around by that. He may be trying to pull his elbow out, he may be trying to square up on me. And if he does that, that's our shot. So as he turns towards me, I'm gonna load him up. Get my sweep. Again, I still have my arm drag position. And I can close that top position. So, the way this works again, is gravity based. Oh, sorry, I'm not this one. Again, you can do it off any of these grip breaks. Gravity. Now I'm going to take a little bit of gravity away from him. I want to kind of lift him here as I walk him around. Watch out, Ziggy. Right? You can go into a full Ukrainian tie, but I kind of like using that tricep to lock him to me. Now as he squares up, the load comes from my hook going inside his groin, my shin kind of going across his hip, and I'm going to drag him down to the floor with a slow motion. From this, over the top of me, I want him on top of me. Always stick your landing. That was one of the, you guys were doing that last one great. The only thing I kept seeing consistently was getting that finish and then getting up. <laughs> right, you gotta stick your landing. You gotta get that top position, secure that thing. All right? So one more time. Any of our grip breaks, let's go up there again. Maybe right, we can do the same thing. Now, here, hold on, we're sleeping. No? Kyle's not here? Yeah, he's right there. Where is he? Oh, oh. He's on his phone. <laughs> he's over there. He's not paying attention. You know what we're doing? <laughs> so, as I get into the situation, I want to make sure I control not only the gravity, but the balance. So if I try to throw him in one fell swoop, I may get it, but I want to make sure that on my landing, I load him up on the hips. Right? Now I'm eject. Turn my hips and get on top. If you don't load him up properly, he'll sprawl out, right? Alright, time. Load. Get him up on top. Make sure that arm drag strong. Finish our top position. You good on that one? Question. Give it a try. Oh, question. Sorry. Whoop. Uh, why do you prefer to go same side when loading him instead of uh, like on the near side on the arm instead of across? Like, well, I'm, I'm loading him up against the base that he might use against me. Right, I can't sweep him to the right. 
if I have his arm on the left. They need to go towards that side. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Uh, do you, not not the hand that's grabbing the sleeve, but the other one where you're grabbing his tricep, do you ever re-grip over the top? Sure. Yeah, yeah. That's a good question. From here, you may come over the top and load him up that way as well. Sure, definitely, uh, definitely an option. Is there a time where you would use one versus the other? It's feel. Okay. It's going to be your timing and your feel in that situation. We good on that one? Let's try it out. So uh, we'll do a couple this time. One of them is more practical, one of them is less practical, but they're both good. Okay. So whatever grip break we choose. Now for this one, a lot of times what we're finding is that the person will hunker down to kind of like get their balance, right? And if that's the case, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna let him go downward like he wants to, and I'm gonna use that gravity. Walk it here, come over the top, and we have our back position. All right. Or maybe he wants to balance it for a like cross like pull here. Right. So we're in our position. He's leaning over. We're gonna drop heavy. Throw our hooks in. I can even use this grip. Break his base, he's taking back. So we have the back tape. And now, sometimes we get to that position, the guy kind of goes, No, I'm not going to my hands. And they back out. So we're in that low spot. I've got my weight in, and he starts to back out. We're going through. Okay? So that one's a little tricky. It's a little bit of a sacrifice. There's some things we can do to maximize. One, his wrist is across his body. We're not gonna have a good time doing this. Then run right into his body. So what we do here, we take that cranium type position, and I'm gonna start cupping kind of behind his elbow as I go. Right, so we go, I'm pulling away from him, and I'm using my weight, again, to drop his wrist to the ground as we go. I'm going to pull that elbow. In real time, you kind of got to drop the bottom out of this one. But for the drill, make sure the person that's getting thrown or dragged down rolls through carefully. Do it slow a couple times so that you don't face plant the partner. Again, I drop him, he resists, I pull it towards me, roll through, I keep that position tight. Okay, so again, it's basically a come on. I'm pulling his elbow away from his body, and my hips and my weight going to pull his wrist away from his body. So I am pulling, but a lot of the power comes from me dropping the weight of my chest onto his wrist. And a lot of the power is going to come from where your legs are in this position. I so have to roll or get my arm broken. You do, right? But if I stop, my legs from moving, you can stop me from finishing, right? So if I drop here, I'm not gonna get it. But as I circle my legs, I get a lot of power from my torso and from my body movement. So if I land, try to use my arms, it's gonna fail. If I use my whole body, I might succeed. <laughs> Didn't warn him on that one. So as we fall, we're going to drop, and I'm going to keep walking my hips around. Yeah. One more time on the back take. If he doesn't give us the hook, we're back in. Make sure top 
position. Go with that, yes, sir. Uh, for the back take, what stops you from just like sliding off the top? Good balance. What if you don't have good balance? Now the question is, I want to glue myself to his hips. So if I get behind him and I try to grab his neck, that's where we go, right? So if we're here and it's all about this, it's very likely to end up over the top. Here, I'm on his hips with my weight. Or I'm on his, on his hand with my weight. I'm gonna bring my weight to his hips. I'll make sure that I'm holding on to his hips. So if he goes forward, I'm under the armpit, I'm in his hips. That sucks. So you basically have to climb up towards the hips. Um, but yeah, it's a tricky one. It's a little hard to, to land. But give it a try. Cool. Let's try it out. So this game involves smoke and mirrors. Right? We're trying to do certain things to set up other things. We want our opponent thinking about back takes when we do kimuras. We want them to think about uh, anything other than what we want to do. Right? We have to know what we want, and we have to convince the other guy we want something different. From that. So all this work we did with the arm drags and the upper body stuff, and the up, it was basically all Greco stuff, right? Judo stuff, we're all above the belt for all of this. But because of that, now, like, in, in my, when I roll takedowns, when I, train, when I train takedowns full speed against a partner or opponent or in a match, I'm gonna spend a minute or two only doing the upper body stuff, right? Because I don't want him thinking about his legs. If I can't get anything going from the belt up, then when we're in, on this position, and he's hell-bent on being tall and balanced all the time, if that's my shot. Okay? So everything we're doing up top can be a distraction for dropping out underneath them. And again, we're applying the arm drag to get everything started. And our drag down now comes from the lower half. And so off of the arm drag, right off of our position, off our Ukrainian tie position, I'm gonna use his kind of getting tall to kind of pull his arm out, and I let go. As we let go, we drop. Now, this is where the drag happens. I could shoot a big double and try to like lift John off the mat and do all that stuff, but no. Okay. Please don't. <laughs> it's hard and it's not necessary. As I drop, I connect behind his hamstrings and I'm going to wrap my leg around. Now, if tries to step out of balance, I get out of there. Bye. <laughs> drag him down. <laughs> Secure our top position. Various ways from there. Okay. So the goal here: trap his ankle, his Achilles, with my leg, and then we just use gravity to drag him down. Right, so off the shot. Right, my knee. As he pulls his wrist out, my knee drops in between his feet. I wrap, and now my back leg. Comes around. But the big mistake that often happens is putting your foot on the back. If I go this way, you step up. You get scroll on, of course. So instead of this, I'm going to throw that all the way around, and his ankle is going to get stuck in between as we go forward. situation we're in. We're trying all our other stuff. We're trying our back takes. It's not happening. He pulls his arm out. I'm not landing. I want to stay heavy on his leg. Right, so he tries to get his leg out. I'm having his leg. And we can balance with our pass. Any questions on that one? 
Pretty straightforward, right? Hop. Good on that one? Let's try it out. Remember, feel the feel the resistance off the arm drag. Feel that that change of he's only defending the upper body at this point. You know that he wants his arm back so bad that he's willing to be tall for you to drop. Drag him down. Oh, one. yes. Is this I like to get his legs trapped because I'm here. I want my chest connected to your hips. Wherever you try to go from there, go ahead. Where to go? Because that ankle gets stuck. Here, can you stand up again? Keep my chest glued. The ankle, the Achilles, which top of my ankle, because then it gets pulled underneath my hips. And now he's under my hips. I don't even really have to. Hold on. My leg is stuck. Does that answer your question? Sort of? Okay. Could you maybe ask it a little differently? I could, maybe I didn't understand it. Can I go to Tate today, Sweet? We goes. Goes here. Sure. You can do that. Except I don't own the legs. I'm just grabbing them. I want to wrap myself around those legs. It's very similar. Except we're dropping the bottom out. I want to get low. He goes tall. I get low. Drag it out from under. Shut up. 